This tutorial on Civil 3D Data Shortcuts assumes you've already got an existing ground surface, such as the one you see here, which was created in the previous tutorial. The purpose of Data Shortcuts is to allow you to reference Civil 3D objects between drawings. It allows us to do things like keep our existing ground surface in one drawing, but use it in our design drawing for surface profiles, volumes, etc. Xrefs would allow you to see line work from another drawing, but you wouldn't be able to use it for Civil 3D functionality. The data shortcuts allow you to control the style of the EG surface in your design drawing, as well as use it for targeting. The interface for data shortcuts is in the Prospector tab of Toolspace. Below the drawing area, you'll see data shortcuts. The first thing we need to do is set the data shortcuts working folder and the project. We'll right click on data shortcuts and say set working folder. There's a number of ways you can organize your data shortcuts. We're going to assume that we're going to keep the shortcuts right inside of our project. So I'll set the working folder one level above my project, so the P drive for me. And then I'll make a new data shortcut project folder. And I'm going to make it exactly the same as my project, which is 2016001. What that's going to do is set the data shortcut project. which is 2016001. What that's going to do is set the data shortcut project folder and automatically in that folder structure it's going to create this underscore shortcuts folder which the program needs for the data shortcuts to function correctly. You should never put anything in this underscore shortcuts folder uh, or do anything to the files inside of it. They're just XML files that the program uses to organize the data shortcuts. Once I've got that set, what I want to do is save the drawing and then right click on data shortcuts and say create data shortcuts. That will al allow the existing ground surface we've created to be available to any other drawings that reference this data shortcut project. If you don't save first, what happens is when I go to create data shortcuts, So I'll right-click Data Shortcuts and say Create Data Shortcuts, check my EG surface and say OK. Now underneath Data Shortcuts you'll see Surfaces EG. You'll also notice the other kinds of objects we can create data shortcuts for. Alignments and then therefore Profiles, Pipe Networks and then New for 2017 uh, Corridors. Now that that data shortcut has been made available, we can close this drawing, start a new drawing, start by saving it, and now we're ready to reference or data reference this EG surface that we just made available. So under Data Shortcuts, we'll go to Surfaces, EG, right click, Create Reference. Choose the style and we can change the name if we'd like to. And there's the EG surface referenced in. Now, when we look up in the Prospector area, the Drawing area, and we go to Surfaces, you'll see EG, but it has a little slightly different symbol little arrow pointing up into the right and that's to alert us to the fact that this is a data referenced surface and if we expand it you'll see there's no definition okay. and that's because the definition of this EG surface is actually in another drawing. Uh, I want to point out a, a mistake that's commonly made let's say I brought in the wrong surface maybe it's from the wrong project or maybe it's just the wrong surface so I want to get rid of it. I don't want to right click under data shortcuts here and say remove. Removing the surface from the data shortcuts gets rid of the XML file inside of that underscore data shortcuts folder I showed you. We want to get rid of it from the drawing, so up here under surfaces, e.g. We want to get rid of that. So I could either right click here and say delete or I could just select it on the screen and hit delete and that'll take it out of this drawing. Okay. So I'll bring it back in one more time and 
and save. Now these two drawings, design.dwg and my existing ground drawing, are both associated to this project, which means that when I reopen these drawings in two months or a year, it should automatically set my project folder to P and the project. But I do need to be aware that if I go to work on another project, start a new project or a project that hasn't used data shortcuts, it may not be set to the correct project down here. So you always want to check this data shortcuts path and make sure that you're in the project you expect to be in before creating data shortcuts or data references. Now in the next tutorial, we'll take our existing ground surface and begin to create alignments and profiles.